This is the code for every single major chord that you can play. In the last video, we talked about the fact that the out of all of the white note chords, C was a major chord, F was a major chord, and G was a major chord. And the reason I know that is because it follows this pattern right here. So your goal is to remember four half steps and three half steps. I've seen people describe them as um, tones as well, like a tone and a half and stuff like that. Uh, it's more common to say half steps, but what, what all that means is, ready for a little music theory lesson here? A half step is when you go from one note to its next door neighbor. So first, go ahead and put your uh, pointer finger on C, slide it in so that it's near the black notes. Play C and then play the black note right next to it. That is called a half step. The distance from this note to this note is called a half step. The most famous half step that uh, that you would recognize, I'm sure, is this. So that's the theme from Jaws. Jaws is a simple half step. Great writing on that on their part. So to figure out any major chord, you need four half steps. Heads up, this is where it gets tricky. Do not get in the habit of counting notes. Trust me on this. Uh, you literally need to count the half steps. So from here to here, so we know this is a C chord, right? So following this, this formula, let's prove that that C chord matches that, okay? So we're gonna start, what that means is the distance from the first note to the middle note is four half steps. And the distance from the middle note to the top note is three half steps. So let's start on C. Find its half step neighbor. So this is a half step. Now the mistake that most people make, and I just have to let you know right away so you can avoid it, is after they play this half step, they move on to this half step. But they've left out one. Can you tell what it is? If people, um, when they count half steps, they count this is a half step, and this is that half step. One has been left out. It's this one right here. Did you get that? So you have a half step, and then from the note where you left off, you have a half step. Then another half step. Then the fourth half step. Let's do it again. This is half step, we need four. Here's half step number one. Half step number two. Half step number three. Half step number four. So we know that if we're trying to figure out this chord, if we start, because we started on this note, that's the, the root of our chord or the foundation of our chord, we would go up four half steps. That's the middle note. Now we need to go up three half steps to figure out the top note. So I'm just gonna leave this here so it's a reminder and I'll leave my pointer finger there because it's a reminder that's where we're building off. So a half step is the note that is right next door. We're not skipping black notes, but we don't wanna skip over white notes. Right here, the, the next note, there's no black note in between, the next note that we uh, play to make that half step is another white note. So these two notes equal a half step. There's one. Here's another half step. That's the second one. And then here's the third half step. So this right here is a C major chord because you have four half steps between the bottom note and the middle note. One, two, three, four. And you have three half steps between the middle note and the top note. One, two, three. There's your C major chord. 
which is why we said this F chord is a major chord as well, because let's do it together. We have four half steps, one, two, three, four, and then we have three half steps, one, two, three, that's it. That's why it's an F major chord. And same with G, let's do that together. So we have a G chord. We have a whole step, or sorry, half step, half step, half step, half step. Then we need three half steps. One, two, three. That's your G chord. This is why when we play D, I said it's D minor. That's because the what we're playing right now does not follow this pattern. If we look at the two bottom notes, the D to the F, it is not four half steps apart. Let's count them. Starting on D, one, two, three. That one's only three half steps. So that already, I mean, it's really like a mathematical equation. By the fact that this is three half steps, there's no way it can be a major chord because a major chord is built with, a, with four half steps on the bottom. So let's find out what D major really is. Here's the D and let's go up four half steps. So we are officially including some black notes. And um, at this point, you're pretty, you can play, I would say 90% of the songs out there that have like lyrics with the chords written up above. You could probably play 90% of each of those songs just by problem solving what this major chord is. So we have D, let's go up four half steps. Remember to start on D, you don't start on the next note. You have to start on the, the, uh, the root or the foundation of the chord that you're trying to figure out. So we have one, two, three, four. This is the last note we just played. So to make a D major chord, it needs a black note in the middle. And now let's figure out what the top note is. We need three half steps from this note. So it's one, two, three. So you have a D, this black note here, and an A. Here's your D chord. Let's do this with E as well. So with the E chord, we're gonna start with E. So it doesn't matter, um, it, it doesn't matter what E you start on, what matters is that you're counting from that E. Do not start your half step counting any higher. Include the E to start with. So here's your E. So you have the first half step, second, third, fourth. There's your middle note of the chord. So E has a black note in the middle as well. And then you're gonna go up three half steps for the top to get that top note. So one, two, three right there. That's your E major chord. So your goal is to start playing all of the major chords. And honestly, I would start with the white notes first. You already know the C major chord, you know the F major chord, and you know the G major chord. Your next mission is to be able to play the D major chord because remember, up until now, we've been leaving out the black notes, right? So you wanna make sure that you know what D major sounds like and how to find it. So play your D major, your E major, and do you remember what other one wasn't major? If you said A and B, you're correct. Let's do A and B together. So I'm moving down here. Here's A, we're gonna go up four half steps. It's seriously just a problem solving uh, strategy and think of it as a formula. So you have four half steps, one, two, three, four. They're your bottom two notes and now you need three half steps. One, two, three. That is your A major chord. So you have A major, we're gonna skip B for just a sec. You have D major. Go ahead and play that with me. And now you have E major. 
Notice all three of those have a black note for the middle. So it's a white note, black note, white note for D. For E, it's a white note, black note, white note. And then for A, it's a white note, black note, white note. So some people memorize it like that. Uh, some people memorize uh, like color coordinated. So like the F, the F, the G, and the C are all white notes. So all white notes, all white notes, all white notes. And then the D, the E, and the A are the white, black, white, D, major, E major, A major. So B is the only one we haven't done yet, so let's do that together. So you have B. Now remember the all white notes, though that was actually called a diminished chord. So let's start with B and let's find out what the B major chord is. You already know the B diminished. So you have a half step. There's one, two, three, four. Those are your two bottom notes. And let's go up three half steps to get the top two notes from the note that we just got. One, two, three. I'll do that again. One, two. Don't forget, there's nothing in the middle, so that's considered a half step. So that's the second half step. And three. So right here, B has a black note on the top and a black note on the middle. And because we're figuring out B and B is a white note, we haven't even talked about the names of the black notes yet. B is the white note. The B can't change. If we're calling this a B something chord, it, we have to have a B in it. So we have a B major chord. At this point, you can go find, look for songs that you're wanting to play and start reading the chord. So if it calls for um, a D chord to a G chord to an A chord, you can play a D chord to a G chord to an A chord and then back to D. If it happens to uh, call for a uh, a D minor chord, now you know you would play this, and then it randomly switched to a D major chord, then you would play that. So practice going, just like you did with all of the C chords, up and down the piano uh, from the last lesson, practice doing all of the major chords starting on the white note. And it's okay to group it together so you have the C, the F, and the G. These are all the white note major chords. White notes, all white notes, all white notes, all three of those were major. It's okay to practice all of those. And then switch to the ones that have the, the uh, black note in the middle. So uh, you've got the D major chord, the E major chord, and the A major chord. And then the B major is Remember to, uh, some people have a hard time playing that chord because they're trying to play far out on the white keys when you're playing the B major. Get your hands in this region of the keys. So our, our fingers aren't usually playing out here in this area. Our fingers are playing more right here in this area of the keys. So that way if you put your pinky here and your middle finger there, there to make that B chord, it's more comfortable than is than if you were trying to play out here and then you know squeezing or shoving your fingers up. So get your hands in the middle of the keys, nice strong and curved, and practice all of the white note chords, major chords, now that you know the difference. Congratulations and enjoy!